All right, let's get back to the Karen Reed murder trial today. Jennifer McCabe back on the stand today. It's her third day of testimony. She is a key witness in this trial as she was the person right next to Karen Reed when O'Keefe's body was found. So let's go to NBC 10's Manash Kungwari. He's live outside Norfolk Superior Court in Dedham. Manash, another already heated day in that courtroom. We're finally, though, finally learning more about this Google search that both the defense team and the prosecution have brought up. The defense team, in its opening statements even, they've talked about this multiple times. And that Google search thus far in the trial has been the most eye-opening piece of evidence. And to understand it, you have to know that Karen Reed is being accused of backing her SUV into O'Keefe in the early morning hours of January 29th, 2022, ultimately leaving him to die on the lawn of 34 Fairview Road in Canton. The defense believes Reed is being framed. Bombshell testimony in the Karen Reed trial. Jennifer McKay back on the stand for the third straight day, but today was the day we were all waiting for. Did you delete that search? The defense finally asked McCabe about a Google search she made the morning John O'Keefe was found. She was attempting to write, quote, how long does it take to die in the cold? McCabe stated it was made after she and Karen Reed found O'Keefe dead. So today, the defense revealed cell bright data retrieved from her phone. It showed that McCabe made a Google search asking that question at 623 and 624 in the morning, which proves McCabe's earlier statements. Why the two searches? She was standing next to me, screaming, shaking my hand. My hand was cold. I was trying to Google it. Obviously, maybe whatever came up first didn't make sense because I had some misspellings, so I did it again. But the data also shows she made the search at 2.27 in the morning, a time that, if true, was when she was at her home. But McCabe says Selbright may not be accurate. I never searched at 227. That is not reality. I never would have left John O'Keefe out in the cold to die because he was my friend that I loved. And you can see there, it became a heated moment in the courtroom so far in this morning portion. McCabe has been the only witness we have seen today, and she still is on the stand. We expect to learn more from her testimony. We will be updating you when trial concludes for the day. But for right now, we're live here in Dedham, Manash Kungwari, NBC10 Boston. Manash, thanks so much for that great recap. And we want to remind you, too, that we're carrying all of the testimony live on our website, NBC10Boston.com, on our streaming platforms, and our sister station, NECN, as well. You can get a complete recap of what happens in court each day and analysis each night at 7 p.m. during our special Canton Confidential.